Hello, Volunteers of America, Chesapeake and the Carolinas. I am out here today in Northwest DC on Kennedy Street at the Hope Center. And I wanna just thank Katrina and all of the staff out here uh, for welcoming me. And it was a pleasure meeting with you all. Also, I was uh, just out with uh, the Ninth Street folks. Uh, and thank you, Kathy and Valentine, um, for just talking and praying with me. You know, God is with us everywhere we go. And we are called to help bring hope into other people's lives. You know, the other day I left the house and I accidentally had left my wallet outside of my purse. I was paying some bills and forgot to put the wallet back in and I went to buy something and realized I don't have my money, I don't have my ID. And I felt very hopeless in that moment. You know, I had the money, I just did not have it with me. But many of the folks that we care for every day feel that way all the time. They don't have what they need. They don't have support in place. And my friends, you are a part of bringing love and support all across the DMV, Virginia and North Carolina. So thank you for your love and your work. Today, I want a little bit, I want to talk with you about as we enter this new season of fall and as we're heading towards the holidays, you know, pumpkin spice is everywhere you can wear it you can drink it you can eat it uh it's everywhere you go i'm wearing my orange and black today and just in the spirit of fall on this chilly morning and also we are heading into the time where it gets busy it gets colder the light gets shorter and uh the days get shorter and we have an abundance of Christmas, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, Kwanzaa, family gatherings. And, you know, we may love the holidays, but everything that's good at the holidays is better. And everything that's bad and stressful at the holidays is worse. And today we need to really make a plan and focus on how we're going to stay in hope and in peace and in love as we enter this fall season and as the days get shorter and chillier. A lot of people suffer from seasonal depression disorder because they're not outside and they're not getting enough sunshine and not in the daylight. I encourage you to make a plan. I encourage you to prepare for the days that are coming, the shorter days, the colder weather, the hustle and bustle of the season, stressful times with family and with finances because there are wonderful things about the fall and winter season. And there are also very tough things Now's the time to make a plan. I want to ask you today, how are you comforting yourself? You know, we comfort others with the comfort that we have received from God. And although God does give us spiritual comfort, we can take steps to help ourselves physically, emotionally, and mentally. Today out at the Hope Center and out on at the house on 9th Street, I gave out these little prayer squares. I've given some of you them as well. This is a small tangible object that you can hold, you can squeeze, you can pray with. If you would like a prayer square, please reach out to me and I will make sure that you get one. We need tangible things. Uh, in, in the biblical days and, and people still today in the Jewish religion have words written around the doorposts of their house reminding them that God is present. I encourage you today, find something tangible to remind you that God is with you, that God is present. Find those healthy things that will comfort you. And then in turn, you will be able to use those spiritual practices and that, that those things that are helping your own well-being to provide love and support to others. My dear friends, I love you. Let me say a prayer with you. God, thank you so much that you are with us. And we come to you in your holy name, in the name of Jesus, giving you thanks that we are here. Many people started out this year that are no longer with us. And God, you have graced us and sustained us, given us life and health and blessings. God, help us to do our part in caring for ourselves. Stir up the hope that is within us. And I ask you that you meet our needs. Thank you that you hear and answer our prayers. And God, we pray for the good folks down at the Hope Center, 
down at the Ninth Street and throughout all of our programs throughout Volunteers of America, Chesapeake and Carolinas. Thank you for encouraging them, strengthening them, helping them in everything they do. We give you thanks and praise in your holy name, in the name of love, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, it's a blessing to be with you today, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. May you be blessed in your spirit, your soul, and your body. This has been A Word with Chaplain Jules.